Well, good morning, everybody. I'm back at it again today. Still doing my social distancing. I come down to a <clears throat> softball field today, not real far from my house. I've hunted a few times with the AT Pro. I brought the Knox up here today to see if I could find anything with it. Hope everybody's doing okay with their lockdowns and shut-ins and quarantines and all that. I'm lucky so far they hadn't locked me out of everything, but I'm staying away from everybody. I'm going to hunt this little softball field, and there's a old school close to it. I may walk over to it and see what's going on over there. I'm going to get started, see what I can find up here, and I'll get back to my first interesting signal. Not finding a whole lot. I got five pennies and a dime, and a bunch of pull tabs and trash. I have one here to come in at a solid 11. And if that's a ring, that's going to be one of the thinnest ones I've ever dug. That's exactly what it looks like. A real thin gold ring. I don't know, maybe copper, can't really tell. That sure looks like a little ring to me. See if I can find anything else up here. Well, this one here didn't sound all that great at all. It was going from 19 to like 29 and jumping all around in the middle, but I decided to dig it anyways. There's a quarter. And there's a quarter. See that other quarter still? Buried up in there with a dime. One's a nickel. There's still more in the hole. Another nickel. Another quarter. Another quarter. Well, that's a heck of a coin spill. Four quarters, five quarters, two nickels and a dime. <laughs> That'll work. Let's see what else is out here. I've been finding a ton of clab, but not a whole lot else. Well, that and trash. But I got one here that sounds really interesting. Check this one out. Thirty-five, thirty-six. Probably a big old hunk of trash, but it sounds really good anyways. <laughs> That's about what I figured. Big old hunk of trash, but that big old hunk of copper tubing sounded real good, 35, 36. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's 17. Another little thin ring.
Like it's got a bunch of little stones on it. Just a solid 17. I think I see a hallmark right there. It's awful little. That'll work. I'm about halfway through with this field. Guess I'll just stay here today. Stay away from everybody. Anyway, let's see what else is out here. It sounds like another quarter. Still had a bunch of those on it. Look at there. Oh, I love it when that happens. Another clad quarter. Nineteen eighty two, I believe. Keep going. Try this one here. Twelve, thirteen. Be nice if get a gold ring, but let's hope we can get a nickel at least. And no, the pencil eraser. On to the next. One side of the field stepped off over here to by one of the dugouts. I think this is where they warm up before they go play. And I had a 22 here. You can see that stone laying there. Right by the dugout. That's a pretty stone. Check it out. Definitely got a hallmark right there. I don't like that stone. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty. We'll finish up in here and see what I can find else I can find in here. Solid 30. Let's see if we can add a clad quarter before we go. There it lays. Another quarter for the pile. I will see y'all at the wrap up. Gonna do a wrap up for today's hunt. I hunted a softball field that's pretty close to my house. I could actually walk to it if I wanted to. Like I said, doing my social distance and stuff, staying away from people. I hadn't seen a soul all day. And we had a pretty good hunt up there. I hunted this field with the AT Pro. It's probably been two years since I've been there. I try not to go there too awful much. I save it for a place when I don't want to feel like going very far. And right now, I can't go very far, so I decided to hunt it today. I pretty much dug everything on the field out there just to see what it was. And you can see it got a lid and that's a little big piece of copper tubing that sounded so good. Pieces of fence posts and wire and everything. Just all kind of zipper pulls and a little nut. That little zipper pull right there kind of impressed me. That thing was six inches deep. That knox picked it up like it was on the surface. Sounded really good. Just a zipper pull. Pull tabs and all that. Not pretty good on the clad up there. I got 
four twenty five and quarters, two, four, six, eight nickels, a dollar, two, four, six, a dollar eighty in dimes, and a whole big old stack of junky pennies. And these old Zinkins out there, five and six inches deep, just junk, but coming in eighteen nineteen. You got to dig them to see what they are, but just garbage. They got me three little rings today. This one here I got by the bleachers. It was coming in in eleven. Thought it might have been gold, but you can see I think it's just going to be a copper one. All bent out of shape. It's one of the thinnest ones I've ever found. And it come in really well. A solid 11. I got this one in the outfield out there. Coming in at a 17. It is marked 925. Had a bunch of little bitty stones all around. It's another little thin one. And I got this one up here by one of the dugouts. Right there where they warm up before they go play ball. You can see it says 925. It's got a really cool stone in it. I'm not what, sure what that stone is, but it's really cool looking. And we had a really fun hunt up here today. I hope everybody's doing okay with this virus thing that's going on. I hope you enjoyed the hunt. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next time.